This is where John received and recorded visions and prophecies from Jesus Christ himself. You can understand the Lord's Day in Revelation in this five-minute video Bible study. The last living apostle of Jesus wrote from a small island located 50 miles southwest of Ephesus in the Aegean Sea. The island of Patmos served as a penal colony, which explained John's statement about being a companion in tribulation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 9 says, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. John Fox in Fox's Book of Martyrs states that John was cast into a cauldron of boiling oil and escaped by miracle without injury. Roman Emperor Domitian afterwards banished him to the Isle of Patmos where he wrote the Book of Revelation. John was the only apostle who escaped a violent death. In the bitter days of persecution under Domitian, John's fearless testimony became the occasion for banishment to Patmos. Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 tells us the significance of the day John was receiving a vision, saying, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Now this is a unique phrase that is found nowhere else in the Bible except here. So we must put on our detective hat and discover which day John is referring to. The phrase Lord's Day comes from the Greek word kyrieki hemira. The modern term kyrieki is the usual term for Sunday. Its Latin equivalent Dominica Dies is a common designation for the same day and has passed into other languages such as Spanish and French. This is why many people hold that Sunday is the Lord's Day. However, the first evidence of Sunday being referred to as the Lord's Day does not appear until the latter part of the second century in the Apocryphal Gospel according to Peter, where the day of Christ's resurrection is termed the Lord's Day. Since this document wasn't written until three quarters of a century after John wrote the Revelation, it cannot be presented as proof that the phrase Lord's Day in John's time refers to Sunday. One reason being that language and words can change their meaning over a very short period of time. Our answer will have to be found in scripture rather than extra biblical literature. Our answer is partially found in Mark chapter 2 verses 27 and 28. The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Now, to be perfectly honest, Jesus is Lord of every day of the week, but here he purposefully highlights the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day that Jesus worshipped on was the same one that he himself rested on during creation week. In fact, the seventh day was a day that Jesus, our Lord, Savior, and Creator, blessed, sanctified, made holy, and declared it to be a memorial of his act of creation as written in stone by his own finger in the Ten Commandments. Another verse that helps us with this is Isaiah 58, verse 13. Notice the wording here. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath the delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. The only day in the Bible that is even slightly referenced to being the Lord's Day is in fact Saturday, the seventh day of the week. While some may argue that Sunday is the Lord's Day, this argument stands without biblical evidence. Typically, this argument is used because Jesus rose on the first day of the week, today what we would call Sunday. While the resurrection is the basis of our entire Christian faith, Sunday was never declared by Jesus, the Father, the Apostles, or any of his other followers as the Sabbath, biblically speaking. What more could God have done to explain the Lord's Day, a day he set aside for us, to rest on and to dedicate to him in worship? He rested on the day at creation. He inscribed it on stone with his own finger. 
He shouted it from a mountaintop. He worshiped on it and rested on the seventh day Sabbath when he came to earth in human flesh. He even chose to remind us of it by giving John the special revelation on this day in the book of Revelation. The Lord's Day is in fact Saturday, the seventh day of the week, the Sabbath. Next time we'll continue our study in Revelation chapter 1 and see a word picture and description of the resurrected Messiah. Please share what you're learning on social media, visit and like us on Facebook, visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit and subscribe to the website at brandonseniorseminars.com. Thank you and God bless.